unfortunately, you know, the stories on the Minnesota guys, you got, you know, Henning and Hawk and Rude and uh, a guy named Brady Boone and, um, and uh, they, they all went down. Was it overdose? I think so on all of them, you know. And There's that rumor. Have, have you heard about this Rick Rude rumor that it was an intentional overdose because some sort of uh, penis thing went wrong? I'm not sure if you've heard any about it. I did. I did hear about that. And uh, uh, I want to say back then, like right after it happened, uh, uh, I think it was Kurt. Um, Henning, um, and we all talked about it, and then that's what we had heard that exactly that you know he was sh shooting up to you know, I mean, Rick had that, I guess you call it demon of, of you know, he just wanted to get kinky as hell and get numb, and and then he would you know actually shoot it in his pecker and. You know, like one out of a million guys will do that. That's just very rare. I mean, that's the extreme of the extreme. And Rick had it, and it was a tragedy. It was a tragedy. And then you heard, didn't you, that um, his uh, son died in that motorcycle crash? No. When did his son die? Oh, man. Uh, I don't know what year. But, I mean, could you imagine being his wife? I mean, Rick Rude yeah. dies, and Rick Rude Jr. dies on a motorcycle crash, you know? And I, I think he was kind of out of control. Maybe not, but I think he was. And uh, if he wasn't, it was just flat sad because it was he was in the wrong place, wrong time. But I, I think he was you know really going fast and all that but to have his son and him go over the years is that's just terrible man hits you in the gut don't it just thinking about it did you ever hear that he had some fetish that like he liked to beat up guys for trying to hit on his girlfriend i heard paul bear tell this story and it was like he would purposely kind of allow that to be set up just so he could beat up the guy? Put it this way. I I don't know if, if it was, like, consciously true, but I think he kind of did it, like, un, I mean, just like he's, he's drunk now, he's had seven, eight beers, and now all of a sudden he's getting paranoid about who's looking at his wife. And, he, and maybe he gave it a nudge sometimes is what I think. Maybe he gave it a nudge, but yeah, Rick was like that. And, you know, I, like I said, Rick and Hawk both hit like mules, you know. Were they both the toughest guys? No, because you're, most of the guys that are, you know, as well as I do, most of the guys that are actually the toughest most of the time are a combination of ultimate fighting, wrestling, boxing. They've done it all. And you just ain't going to be able to keep up with a guy like that in a fight. No way. 